Amanda, what's up? All right, so only real thing I want you to improve on these squats is just the kind of unracking procedure. Look how wide your feet are. All right, and watch as you go to unrack it, okay? Watch how you have to step your feet back in towards yourself to walk back. So check this out. So see how that first step is inwards? Goes in. All right. So start with your feet narrow on the unrack. And then what you do is feet are narrow, stand up with it, take one big step out, and then set your feet width, okay? That's going to make things a lot more uh, energy conserving. But aside from that, these look great. Your knees stay in place, so you squat down, they don't slide forward. You're sitting your hips back, you're driving your knees out. These look excellent. On the bench, a couple things. Alright, so watch as you unrack it how the first movement in the bar is straight up and then back. Slow it down a bit. Can I slow it down? Okay, I can't. Alright, so watch how the bar goes up first and then out. Alright, so I actually like you to raise the J hooks just a little bit and create more lap tension. So the unrack the bar should just go this this path instead of up and then straight out, okay? The next thing I want you to do is just watch kind of the bar path. See how it's kind of like looping out the bottom there? I'll slow that down so you can see what I'm talking about. So it's like coming down. Kind of like loops that way. Alright. It kind of goes straight up and then back. So as you're coming down, think about just lightly touching your shirt. All right, I think what's happening is you're getting to the bottom, you're kind of losing, losing tension a bit, and it's kind of drifting away from you, okay? All right, that's all I got for you, all right? Kick some butt.